like, well, you, your voice would be out by the end of your eight or 10, 12 hour shift. If you're yelling six foot trying to talk to somebody, like you already get uh, hearing damage just from not wearing hearing protection. I feel like you're already, so I'm like, if you're in a factory, you're already half ass yelling at somebody. You're not using this voice when you speak. Well, because we always have the, the, the ear protection anyway, so you're yelling anyway. Right. So then if you're supposed to be six foot apart, yelling even more. So now that we're trying not to yell, you're not respecting your six foot. This so now masks are required. So why why don't they just pay for everybody to take sign language class and people can quit talking? <laughs> <laughs> I would totally do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that, that's when you learn in Spanish and you learn all the cuss words. Yeah, you, you learn in yeah, sign language, yeah, learn all yeah. the cuss words in sign language. <laughs> it's like tell what tell you what the boss thinks from way downtown. <laughs> Somebody saying, "Bang, hey, did you do this with such and such tire?" <laughs> 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 all right man, all bring right. us in dude all bring right us in, bring us in all right we're back again we just had a, a wonderful apricot review yeah and we're back to talk about some more stuff i with love apricot beer with mr classic and of course i'm b smith man we're here to do it again man uh, okay so let me just shamelessly plug us real quick uh shows are up monday nights at seven on spotify uh go to spotify and follow three crafty bastards and they will tell you when our posts are up on monday night so i like to go back and i like to listen to the podcast because we have <clears throat> pretty sweet dude if you watch the beer review we have juan cordero the one and only from brews and views 1.1 doing the producing for this this podcast so he's the one that makes sure that we get it up every night or that he gets whoa, it up. Whoa, now. But whoa. Easy. Every Monday. Like a fluffer guy. I don't Monday. Know. Oh, <laughs> you could just call him a fluffer. That's awesome. <laughs> he said he makes sure these guys get it up every day. I'm like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> the royal penis is clean, your highness. <laughs> no, he's the guy that makes sure that we get up on Spotify and that, uh, that the podcast is edited and that it's funny. And if you didn't get to catch last week, man, meat suit. That's really oh, all I got to say. It was a hilarious moment that will probably continue to do from here on out right yeah it's like a tagline now like I, meat I, suit i think so like you have to dig into the program to find out what the heck you're talking about with a meat suit well i mean so go to spotify check that shit out uh also you can go to youtube you can watch our beer reviews uh you can watch our segments shows podcasts whatever you want to call it uh and then of course you can catch us on facebook man you can go to three crafty bastards on facebook okay. and just check out the the live shows that we had you can go back and watch all those as well so what do we got tonight we have a new quarantine it's new to me okay but upon further review it's not new it's just new to me uh the tiktok sensation during quarantine oh my gosh so uh it was introduced to me by my by my friend's kid and they're like marlon you gotta watch this watch this watch this watch this and you're sitting there watching these little videos, and some are funny, some are not. You know, we got different levels of humor, and I'm like, well, <clears throat> well, you got you got to get this app, get the app. So, uh, right about a day in, I was I'm not addicted, but I do like to kill time looking at looking at these videos, and then uh, I just got some more knowledge of how to work it. So, I'm trying to enhance my TikTok experience. Now, is this something that you actually participate in, or is it something that you just watch? You can participate. You can do both. Uh, you can make. They have these sound bites. If right. You, for for I'm sure I'm sure everyone who's watching this knows what TikTok is, but they have sound bites, and you lip sync the sound bites, or you can create your own video. And people can use your voice as a sound bite, create their own videos. Right. So. Uh, I'm learning a lot of the, the characters' names that are making these videos. There's this woman and her daughter named Tiffany. Shoot. Tiffany, and I forgot her daughter's name. But the, one of the first and funniest videos I saw was this woman and her little girl. And she's, the little girl's arguing about bringing cheese back. <laughs> yeah, 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 about yeah. It. It is, I have seen that one. It's cute, and it's super hilarious. And there's a lot more. I mean, a lot of people are doing the, the, the dance videos. Right. They have that Megan... The Stallion, I'm a Savage, or it's called Savage, and they're doing all these dance moves to which I will never, ever, 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 ever do. But never <clears> say <throat> never, man. Never. Connery do. said he'd never play Bond again, too. But that <laughs> happened as well. Never. 
Never. Well, um, I... but here's the, here's the thing. But there's there's plenty of them. So there's old school rap. There's 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 probably hundreds. So uh, there's a lot that you can communicate on there. You can save them and go back and look at them. Uh, you can send them to other users. Right. So to say, hey man, check this out, and you can send it to them directly in their mailbox on TikTok. So TikTok is, it's a, it's a, it's a different form of almost I don't want to call it Facebook, Facebook, but it has a Facebook like quality. So were you around when? Well, not were you around? Obviously you're around, but were you no. uh, interested when they had like the vines and and all that kind of shit? Let me take that back. Yes, but not a lot. Right. And again, I'm not hip on technology because... Dub Smash. Do you remember Dub Smash? Never heard of it. Okay. I, I feel like Dub Smash was <clears throat> like the the infant version of TikTok. Bro, I never had MySpace. Oh, I have a MySpace. I jumped, I jumped straight. I jumped all that. I jumped MySpace, Black Planet, all that. I jumped over all that into Facebook. And I'm not on Instagram. I'm not on Twitter. Instagram not, is interesting. Right? I I bet it is, but I'm not. I don't. But you I don't have a TikTok. Get, I don't know if you want to say I have a TikTok. You to me, monitor it's, TikTok. Yeah, right. So I don't communicate with a whole bunch of people telling them about my life on TikTok. Facebook. Yeah, it's my birthday next week. Hey, everybody. It's my birthday next week. <laughs> I mean, hey, birthday, birthday, celebrate, it's me. You, you know you could tell people that on Instagram as well. Then and you get double the birthday. And you can do that on TikTok, too, if I make a video. So you're going to make a video? No. I mean, <laughs> come on. Come I'm on, man. Let's, let's let's do do the, come on, dude. Let's do the 2C slide. Negative ghost writer. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't. Here's my thing. I, I see some of these other videos where there's a TikTok <clears> of <throat> people over 30, people over 40. And, of course, I'm over 40. And it's just it's it's a young people's thing, and they're the ones doing all the all the videos, and I'm like, okay, cool, I ain't doing that, right? Because you hit you hit the little no, the I, elbow throw, and something cracks, and you're like, cut. There's one girl that does one, and she's doing something, and she threw her head back, and she had like a back one out. I'm like, that would be me. <laughs> so so <sighs> that's funny that you say that, okay? Because uh, I I got curious, and I was wondering what the average age for TikTok users was and for women it's between 15 and 19. Now that's not to say that there it, there aren't people older on TikTok that's there are average. there definitely are and like uh I remember just kind of watching videos initially on TikTok I'd look in on it from that, like every now and then and it's like young person young person young person older person that is making fun of the younger people saying that the older person shouldn't be on TikTok that was like a trend, right? Now it, it seems just in the last couple of months that TikTok is kind of for everybody yep. and it's kind of grown to be for everybody. The average age of men on TikTok is between 14 and 16, wow. which is really, it's weird, but it doesn't surprise me because I, will, I would bet dicks to dollars if you had a male, female, <laughs> yeah, 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 and I want the dollars, uh, if you had a male female uh, statistic for social media use just in general, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever it might be, that it would be women are more frequent users of social media than men are, which may account for uh, the. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, God damn, that's awesome <laughs> that is not right chris uh that is so wrong in so many ways man shock she's not kicking him in his butt uh, right well now. next time that we're on uh next time that we're on three crafty bastards so body turned up <laughs> <and the> mommy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like like uh, men 14 to 16 that's the average age and so I'd be really curious to to know what the average age social media user is and how it differs from men to women. I bet it's in the twenties. You think so? I would just from my experience when I'm on social media, <clears throat> only because of the people who I socialize with um, on Facebook, we're all a very similar age. Right. Within probably five to seven years ish. So with me being forty three. 35 to 50 ish is probably who who I associate with on on those 
But if I was on Instagram and Twitter, I'm pretty sure there's a there's a younger crowd. And there's a lot of, again, it's a bunch of dance videos, so it is a bunch of young, bunch of youngsters. And check this out. I was watching Nickelodeon because I watched Loud House, SpongeBob, and a few other cartoons. But they have a new TV show or some kind of segment where they have a Nickelodeon employee dancing against a, a Nickelodeon fan. Really? And then you vote who has the best dance moves. It's just like TikTok. Mm. So it's it's spreading and people are starting to try to ride the wave. So right now is where I should challenge you to a dance off, bro. You can if you want. <laughs> I can't say I'm going with Oh but... damn, she's watching now. If oh. she goes back into the comments, that shit is a wrap, man. <laughs> yeah, just watch for the, the news ticker tomorrow to yeah. see if anybody's turn up in the in the mommy like you said. So uh TikTok, if you're wondering where it originated from uh tiktok was let me see let me make sure i got my stats right because i'm the stat guy uh tiktok was released in september 2016 and merged with musically on august 2nd 2018 uh <laughs> younger kids laugh at facebook and says it's for old people i hate to say it chris says younger kids i can't see the rest <clears> of it. younger kids live at facebook says it's for Old people. Old people. And you know what? I agree with that. Here's why. As they evolve new new social media, Facebook is getting left behind, just like MySpace got left behind, just like Black Planet got left behind. All these other mediums got left behind. Facebook is on its way out, I bet. <clears throat> yeah, but I, I feel like... Uh... <laughs> And <laughs> just know you're <laughs> that's awesome. If you're not, if you are watching Facebook or if you go back and you can watch us on Facebook, tune into the comments because the shit is going down right now. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm a little more interested in the comments than I am in what we're actually talking about right now. Yeah. Which, which is a great that's a great plug, man. Like hire those guys to do that that banter while we're while we're live. Uh it's even better when you're over there. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. Yeah. I bet. So like I said, TikTok was released in September 2016, merged with a program called Musical.ly on August 2nd, 2018. Uh, then it became TikTok. TikTok is a parent company of Byte Dance, which is a Chinese company. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Video Sharing Social Network Services that was actually founded in 2012 by a Chinese guy, and I'm gonna fuck this name up, but that's okay because I've been drinking. <laughs> Zhang, uh, what is my writing? Zhang Vimir. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Nailed I, it. Nailed it. Uh, it's popular in Asia and the United States, and it was the most downloaded app in October 2018. Uh, it reaches 150 markets, it's in 75 languages, and wow. as of February 2019, there were a billion downloads globally of TikTok. Downloads. Now, let's go back to the Facebook thing that, that we're talking about. And we're like, man, Facebook is kind of for old people and it's going to phase out. The I feel like the thing about Facebook is that it doesn't matter how old you are, whether you are young or old, it's for all, all age groups. Mm -hmm. And... I'm reminded in particular uh, of a video that was shared, and I don't know if you watched it. I think uh, you you can catch this video on Bruise and Views 1.1. I don't know, Juan, if you shared that or if you shared it on your personal page about that woman that was upset at Menards about having to wear a mask, mm. right? Mm. And she's like, I, I got 26 years and I'm educated and these young people aren't educated. She's probably barely got a high school education and I'm not wearing a mask. And this this lady was increasingly pleased with herself to the point where she would speak to the camera. Now she she's she's old. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're older, but she is old. Okay. She she's old enough that she probably should just not have a Facebook because she was so pleased with herself. I'm assuming one in the fact that she even had a Facebook, two in the fact that she knew how to use live. And three, in the fact that she was actually going live and that she was probably talking to somebody, if anybody. I mean, to say that nobody's listening would be a mistake because I sat there and I watched it. Now, with that being said, so she speaks to the camera, she looks away, she makes this little smirk, and then she comes back. She is the epitome 
of Karen. She's the Karen of all fucking Karens, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> she's like, I'm not wearing a mask. Hmm. And I told them I'm going in. And I've been a registered nurse for 26 years. And I told them I'm not wearing a mask. And I'm coming in there. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. Facebook Live is not for fucking you. Hit hit the end button. Please hit the end button. Because nobody gives a fuck, Karen, about what you gotta say right now and why you're so upset that you're sitting out in your goddamn car outside of Menards telling people how you're not gonna wear a mask. You ain't buy anything. You ain't show me what you purchased. Right? Who wins? People of that demographic, Facebook Live is not for them. Facebook should not be for them. So Facebook is it is 100% a venue of opinion. Because she had done it for the gram? She did. No, no, don't. <laughs> no, please don't take that shit over to Instagram. No, because I, I, I don't want to see Karen <clears throat> ranting about being asked to wear a mask in Menards uh, in, like, my beer feed. Because, like, Instagram, man, I either follow famous people or I follow breweries. Hmm. That's what it is. Like, and you can catch a lot of good shit, man. There's a lot of good information on Instagram. And I'll, I'll dip in on it from time to time and, like, see what's happening with this brewery, this brewery. That's, Instagram is where the 450 North story broke, which was, like, a huge thing. So, the Facebook is going to continue to be for everyone. And I don't think that it's going away anytime soon. I don't think it's going to re be replaced by TikTok or by Snap or by uh, Instagram, unless you have a, another app, venue, whatever, like Facebook, that can come and actually replace Facebook or be better. Because the thing about Facebook is, man, they're always improving. It's a communication hub. Yeah, it, it 100% so, is. If you can communicate effectively with, person, with, with your people on a regular and easy and regular basis on any of these other venues, the, the new hotness is going to take over. Right. So if someone's working on that to unseat uh, Zuckerberg, which is going to be tough. You really think it'll be done in the next decade? No. Uh, where did Facebook, I mean, how how long did it take Facebook to catch fire? I don't know. I mean, I can find out, but. But I'm saying, I'm saying that, for example, you had all these, I like I said, you had MySpace. MySpace does the exact same stuff Facebook does well, that I know of. Right. right, it was a communication hub. Right, so you can share things, talk to people, send messages. I don't know about the posting aspect; I never had it. So I think I think you could post on MySpace. If, if if there's a way to send messages, if they like combine combine Twitter and Snap, Facebook might be out. See, I don't have a Twitter. I don't either. I, I don't, and I can't have a Twitter until the election is over and. And 2020, and then... You don't want your vote compromised? Come yeah, on, man. Well, and then you know what? Like, even then, I might not even be able to have a Twitter until 2024. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I can't be trusted. But back to this uh, back to this TikTok thing. TikTok. Yeah. So, the number one person on TikTok that has the most followers... You want to take a guess at how many people that is? <clears throat> I know it's in the millions. Yes, because my friend's daughter tells me some other little girl who just does little shake em up videos on Twitter has two, three, or four million followers. Right. I don't know her name. I've never looked at her, so I don't know who she is. But I know it's got to be in the million. So you said the person who's got the most. The person that has the most. Um, I'm going to go with five. Five mil? Five mil. Okay. The number one person on TikTok is Charlie D'Amelo. I hope I said that right because she's got way more clout than is I do. Is it she? And she, yeah, and she could probably have. I bet it's this chick that my daughter, uh, my daughter. My <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome to this new development. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that she probably told me. Maybe that is her. Okay. So, do you want to change your answer? No. Okay. 54.6 million followers. What? Yes. So if you... Okay, so in looking at TikTok, the first thing that uh, kind of stood out to me was 
the the followers. So I have maybe 300, 200. I don't know. I really don't like people. So like outside of my like circle or like friends or like friends of friends, people right. I've worked with or people I've gone to school with. Outside of that, I don't, I don't, I don't, eh, no, no, thank you. Yeah. So I might have like two or 300 friends on Facebook. I might have like less than a hundred friends on Instagram of like actual people, not corporations, businesses, breweries, or, or like rock and roll shit. Right. Wow. So how many? 54.6 million followers. That dude. So, you know what? I, what I did the stat that I saw. You, you get you gave me a different stat that I looked up earlier as far as how many current users are available. Right. I saw 800 million. You went for a billion. So that's still a lot. That's worldwide, because right. you're, you're you're capturing the several millions in in Asia, along with the several millions in in the u.s probably canada and europe now so yeah but what's the what's the global population the seven hell? million you get 54 so, million dude, followers dude can i ask you to do the math real quick can you divide uh seven billion <laughs> by 54.6 million wow 54.6 million yeah is he gonna use exponents for that how do you put no, that on a phone? Does it take that many zeros? It, it should. It's an iPhone. Oh. Well, since it's an <laughs> iPhone, Android you can't know, do the math. Yeah, yeah, you know them iPhones take that extra zero? <laughs> how many How many zeros is a billion? <laughs> Ten, right? Uh, it, it's, it's seven and then nine zeros. That's one of my other I mean, favorite persons on yeah. on on the... Uh, on the... Uh, um, TikTok, I almost said Snap. Right. On TikTok, there's this girl, I guess she goes by Nay. Mm -hmm. And she does some of the funniest. Like, she reminds me of a character that could be on Wild and Out. Look, he, Juan is still working on the zeros. <laughs> That's a lot of zeros, <laughs> bro. Divided by, divided by what? 54.6 million. That's 50, 54. 0, 0, 0. Just 54 million. 0, we don't 0, even 0. need the point six. That's six, That's six zeros. zeros. Yeah. Okay. Can it's I see repeating. this real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's repeating. So here's what I want to do. Uh, keep, keep, keep talking. We can't have all this dead, this all right. dead air while I'm doing this math. So, well, I was at the store the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ran into this Muppet. And in creating this dead space, we went to outer space. Huh? And I bought a bicycle. Yes. And it had a jetpack with Play-Doh for tires. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So well, it looks like 129,000. Yeah, but that's that's not that's not it. It looks like essentially 62% of the globe is following this one person. Wow. Of the globe. So if there's 7 billion people on the planet, right? I don't know. Either way. I've never a, looked into that number. It's a large number. And I don't need to know that number. Well, yeah, you'll take the, you'll move the, the decimal point two spaces yeah. from the 129. So yeah, 62%. 63% if you want to be accurate. Yeah, so, right, Corey? So 63% <laughs> follows this one person. That's hard to believe. That is insane. Hard to believe. And have you? And if you, you've never seen her, right? Uh, I haven't. I saw her video. I saw a couple of videos only because I was shown. And I think it's just because she's young and she's pretty that people follow her. She really doesn't do anything in her videos. What's, Why does anybody follow anybody on TikTok? What's her name? Charlie D D Emilio D apostrophe A M E I L O. She does dance. She dances on her videos. I mean, that's pretty. Uh, look, I don't, Chris, I don't, that's not it. I don't. I don't, I don't think it's right either. Sixty-two percent. Well, do the math, lot. Chris. What the hell are you doing with your life? You're saying sixty-two percent of seven billion is not fifty-four million. Hmm. Did you go to? <laughs> no, I went to. I went to Wayne. Thank you. 
Oh my god. That's why they shut the school down. They couldn't do math. Uh, well, I see. I I don't I don't see Harding doing any better. Hey, uh, we dig into important <laughs> stuff, and this is not really that important. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Want to hit the wow, wow, wow. Either sixty-two percent of you're saying is seven billion. Like half of seven billion is three point four billion. Right. Okay. So yeah, you're right. Can't be that much. That's a lot. Well, still, man. But I think it's close. I think it's closer to that twelve. Like I think it's probably twelve percent. Because ten percent. Even if twelve percent of the globe follows this, it's 1%. not even that much. It's lower than that. Maybe that's one point two, one point three. Here's here's, here's why. Ah, uh, somebody is silly. <clears throat> okay, half of it. Half of it's three point five. Half of three point five be one point seven five. So that's twenty five percent. Twenty five okay. percent is that. 1.25. We're doing too much math here. We are. Okay. But this is Harding coming at you live. Yeah, no, uh, well, well, you guys, you guys were good at football once. Uh, <laughs> so, wow. The, the, oh, go, oh. He snuck it in there. Under but here's the, the thing. I wasn't even there when we were good. Uh, well, when I, when I was there, we sucked. So, the, the second person, uh, Lauren Gray, 43.1 million. Go north. The third person is Zach King, 42.6 million. What are people doing on TikTok that they have so many followers? I mean, I know that it's a three and a half billion. Okay. So what I'm saying is that there's, you have to think that they're, uh, the ones that I've watched, like you can see how many, how many likes a video gets, right? Right. Um, I've liked some of those. I've saved some of those. And some of them only have like 2,000, 2,000 likes, 3,000 likes. Right. You get some that say 10,000, 23,000. There are some that say 1.5 million likes. So I'm like, how in the hell? And some of the videos aren't that good. It's just the people. And maybe their followers. So if you had 43 million followers right. and 1% liked your shit, that's, that's quite a bit. So in your experience with TikTok, what would you say the most prominent style video is dancing dancing and like i said that's why i think that that nickelodeon bit caught on and they're having the same thing um when you when you gave the ages of who's on tiktok um my buddy's little girl she's 13 right so she's pretty close to the demographic yeah so um she copies a lot of the dance videos for herself and like we're sitting we're sitting around a table eating dinner the other day and she's just flopping all around doing all the freaking dance that's are like what is she and it's and you start laughing after a while because it's like if she got serious with it maybe but she was goofing off and yeah it's funny right but i know where she's getting it from right so it's not i feel like it's just i don't i don't want to call it exploding because it's already it's already got it's already there billion members yeah 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 but i think for us for us in our demographic it's becoming a lot popular because there's a hashtag TikTok over 30 and TikTok over 40 uh, that that girl that I said the name is Nay. She has one. She goes for those users that are over thirty. Absolutely, Missy <laughs> or Chris. Absolutely, we're going to Savoy's tomorrow. You, you think you think Chris is gonna make it to Savoy's after that fifty six comment? Could be his last meal. <laughs> Could be his last meal. Um, I think that uh, I just think that the the demographic is hitting the older people. Like you said, the the demographic was the younger people. Right now, the older people that have been off work. Are starting to see like what what's going on? What how are we going to entertain ourselves? Sure. <laughs> oh my she god! From her mama. Right. So, what is it that intrigues you most about TikTok? And Juan, man, if you can like holler too, because I know Juan's done TikToks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, what is it that intrigues you the most about TikTok? I would I would say, uh, like, I don't know if they caught the beginning where I said I was lazy. Right. I'm a lazy eater. <laughs> I'm a lazy TV watcher. All you have to do with, with your phone in your hand is just flick through all of these these videos. Occasionally you'll see something funny. Right. Um, there's a lot that are funny, but occasionally you'll see something that are funny. Like, oh, well, I want to see that. And then they have an originating video that people copied off of. I want to go to the original. Yeah, the du the duets. Uh, there They're are straight up talking about carne asada on here, and now I'm hungry. <laughs> I did not eat after I worked out. 